five things to remember before attempting a bearing question. Five things. Number one, draw a sketch. Draw a sketch. Mm -hmm. For top students, I advise you to draw a sketch. The sketch is going to just give you a road map into the question, help you to see which which rule you are going to use and sometimes even if you they ask you to draw a diagram still draw a sketch even if they ask a diagram draw a sketch and then draw the diagram so the sketch is going to help you to visualize how the diagram is going to yeah but draw a diagram before an exam and the, the diagram end up in the question because you run out of space or cut into some words in the next question or something like that that's what the sketch will help you eliminate you don't want that up and then the exam time running out you're feeling kind of stupid and them kind of thing draw a sketch Number two, you want to draw a note on all the points, every single key point, it might be a port, it might be a ship, it might be a lighthouse, whatever. Draw a note on the point and then the bearing goes in a clockwise direction from the note. So you draw a note and you may include another pattern of points if they ask for it. Number three, corresponding angles and alternative, alternate angles. Them going to save your life so awful. So make sure you understand that fully and all the other parts of trigonometry you understand that clearly. Corresponding angles or alternate angles are very critical in that way you crack the code in um, this kind of question. Leading on to number four, sine rule, cosine rule. You can either get one or both. So most of the time it's both in this question, right? Um, sine rule and cosine rule is like the final front there for you in maths and tricks for at this level so make sure you understand that fully you don't need to memorize the formula but you should be very acquainted with it by doing your past papers and questions involving it so that you when you see that question come it's like i know how to use my sign room or cosine room the formula is given at this at the formula sheet in the start of the paper right but make sure you do questions involving it understand that number five make sure your calculators in degrees can't understate that if you calculate the radians, you're going to get the wrong answer. Sine of something in radians, sine of an angle in radians is different than sine of an angle if you calculate it in degrees. So just make sure you see DEG at the top of your calculator. Calculators have a tendency to change themselves into radians and gradients and all kind of thing. So make sure before you attempt that question, your calculator is in degrees. Alright, so those are the five things you want to look out for before starting a bearings question. Now that you know that, Jump in your past because an attempt on bearings question, see how that goes for you. Um, you can always look out for upcoming videos on bearings and um, if you need some more details, helping how to sketch the bearings and how to actually do a bearings question.